What is a taboo? Simply speaking, a taboo is an uncomfortable topic or situation that affronts basic, widely held beliefs surrounding our notion of the sacred or profane. The concept of a taboo originated from the Polynesian language, a word that represented anything consecrated, inviolable, forbidden, unclean, or cursed. By our modern conception, a taboo often represents the violation of certain values, such as the sanctity of human life and the human body, the need to protect children and their innocence, and the need to preserve the environment for future generations. This brings us to the concept of the taboo scenario, a situation faced by a manager that proceeds from the violation of a taboo. These scenarios challenge deep values, fly in the face of conventional wisdom, or cross a line into the unspeakable or unthinkable. These taboo scenarios make great news. Think about the press surrounding important decisions like oil drilling and wildlife preserves, the extensive use of manual labor in developing countries, or reliance on ethnic profiling by Homeland Security and other law enforcement agencies. Taboo scenarios are difficult to pin down as they are dictated by societal norms of what issues can be addressed and what issues are considered inappropriate. By this logic, it would seem as though taboo scenarios are something that should not be addressed or confronted by managers because they are inherently inappropriate to discuss in typical settings, right? Wrong! If taboos remain unaddressed, breaching them, whether accidentally or in the name of pursuing another business interest, can lead to many undesirable public reactions, such as public moral outrage, increased sanctions, or calls for moral cleansing. So, what should be done? Leaders will need to question and confront organizational taboos in order to examine new options or to perceive a looming threat that may otherwise be too dire to contemplate. However, caution and foresight are necessary to prevent a public relations nightmare. Good news! Taboos are not as innate or inflexible as we might imagine. Taboos permit exceptions. For example, taboos surrounding the sanctity of human life can be bypassed if one kills in self-defense or wartime. What it comes down to is framing. There is one key method by which a taboo scenario can be reframed to make it more acceptable. Before discussing this, however, let's explore the idea of a trade-off. A trade-off implies a decision or choice a manager must make that inherently privileges one outcome over another. There are two main types of trade-off. A taboo trade-off assigns a finite value to something of infinite moral value. While these trade-offs may be seen as callous and controversial to many people, they are crucial considerations for managers. Making a taboo trade-off decision is very likely to inspire public moral outrage because it might seem as though the company is choosing monetary profit at the expense of a sacred value. The second main type of trade-off is called a tragic trade-off. Instead of comparing a monetary decision to a sacred value, tragic trade-offs pit two sacred values against one another. In such cases, decision-makers have no choice but to agonize over no-win options. Imagine, for example, that you are a doctor weighing the value of a mother's life over that of her unborn child. The public understands the gravity and difficulty of these situations, and as a result, tragic trade-offs are much less likely to inspire public outrage. Here's where the notion of framing comes back into play. Most leaders will inevitably face decisions that attach implicit monetary values to ostensibly sacred issues. How a manager chooses to frame a scenario ultimately determines the public reaction. There are three steps to diffusing the possibility of public outrage. Step 1. Know what is really sacred. The value of a human life is sacred to just about everyone, but some issues, like personal privacy, can be reframed in a way that entices people to realize that a taboo violation is necessary. Just imagine the security screening prior to boarding an airplane. Step 2. Reframe as tragic choices. In a trade-off situation, focus all official communications on the tragic aspect of any decision. Pit sacred values against one another. And finally, step three, make defensible choices. Most people will choose to look the other way if a taboo trade-off is not overt or flagrantly announced. Remember, as a manager, you're in control. You have a large influence on how the public will view and interpret any of your decisions. As a leader, you will have to think about the unthinkable. Taboo scenarios can be anticipated by forming contingency plans within your organization surrounding the breach of a taboo. As such, leaders should foster organizational cultures that reward intellectual curiosity and aren't too quick to dismiss ideas seen as unpalatable. 
to begin forming these contingency plans, be as open as possible within your organization. Communication and awareness are key. In conclusion, don't be afraid to think about taboo scenarios along with their consequences and potential benefits. Whenever possible, reframe taboo trade-off decisions as tragic trade-offs. And finally, always remember to be open-minded and flexible. These are truly the qualities of an exceptional leader.